Okay, and back by popular request is our x-ray series on lateral cervical spine analysis. So we're starting with just a simple lateral cervical spine radiograph. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to map the spine itself so we know the measurements and ratios and then we'll calculate the cervical lordotic curvature, difference between center of gravity and then C1 elevation angle. Now this system is called the Onyx Rad system and this was designed in the early 2000s for Windows XP. There are many, many x-ray systems out there now that you can use uh, that do this same type of analysis. Some are better at it than others, but Onyx Rad has developed a really good system. They do have a more current uh, platform operating now. So we're going to start out by just mapping the cervical spine. So we're going to start by marking the superior posterior aspect of C2 vertebral body moving down to the inferior posterior vertebral aspect of C2 and then we're going to do the same thing at C3, C4, C5, C6, and C7. Now as we do this you want to make sure, be as consistent as you can with your placement of those lines or those marks on those posterior aspects. So, and on the video, C7 is not as readily apparent as it is on the screen here. So make sure, if you need to play with the contrast to make sure you get those marks correct, please do. So now we've mapped out the cervical spine itself all the way down to C7. Now the computer will take each of these measurements and ratios and it will use that in helping us calculate the cervical lordotic curvature. So in order to do that, you need two points, well actually three. But the bottom point is going to always be the very posterior aspect, posterior inferior aspect of C7. Your next point is going to be where the superior aspect of C2 should be, which is directly above the base of the cervical spine and level with C2. So this is where our actual center of gravity should be. So this star you see here on C2, if this was a perfect cervical lordotic curvature, that superior posterior aspect should actually be here. Now we're going to mark the very center of the C5 vertebral body, and this creates the cervical lordotic curvature. We're going to use C5 because this is the crux point for the cervical spine. So when the load itself goes forward, this is where everything sits. So this is why we're using that point to calculate where the cervical curve should be. Now we're going to take a measurement from where our center of gravity should be, which is here, and then we're going to bring that forward to where it actually is now, which is point, or I'm sorry, 1.87 inches forward. So that's how far shifted this cervical spine is. Now we're going to calculate the C1 angle. So there are couple different ways to do this. So usually you'll be going through the posterior tubercle, going straight through, and make sure you level that out to zero, and then you're going to come straight through the anterior tubercle of C1, so that's going to be right at one degrees. So again, this number needs to be 30. But now we've analyzed that angle. Now in some patients, you'll have to be careful because you need to make sure this is going through that posterior arch of C1. So sometimes the posterior tubercle, depending on congenital variants, may not always be as clear as this one, and it might not be a straight through shot. So make sure when you calculate this angle line, it has to go through straight through the vertebrae itself. So if you notice that it looks like it's not quite connecting through that posterior arch, that's the most important point because the posterior arch is actually that gateway into the cervical spine. So what we're really looking at is this angle here. So it won't always be a straight shot from posterior tubercle to anterior tubercle as it is on this patient. So that's our beginning analysis. This shows you exactly how to analyze the cervical spine, what numbers you're looking for, and we'll continue this series with part two, which is actually interpreting these results and going from there.